Good afternoon everyone. Today we'll be talking about SSRS logos and report updates for Epicor version 10.2.300. Epicor has made it easier to update standard reports in Epicor in version 10.2.300. Today I will show some examples of the tools that Epicor offers to edit SSRS reports. SSRS stands for SQL Server Reporting Services, by the way. These are the general topics listing what I will cover today. The following slides will give more detail about each individual topic. I will be covering User Account Security Access, Adding Logos to Epicor Standard Reports, Downloading Standard Reports for Editing, Uploading Standard Reports for General Use, and then system monitor and designing your SSRS reports. <clears throat> Covering these topics for everyone will give a better understanding of how things have been enhanced and changed in Epicor version 10.2.300. User account security access. In order to use the new options for SSRS reports in Epicor 10.2.300, the logged in user will need to have the option checked in user account security maintenance that will allow them access to SSRS report designer. This checkbox will need to be checked for the user. Without this box checked, the user will not be able to use all the built-in tools that allow editing of the SSRS reports within Epicor. Adding logos to Epicor standard reports. Now in Epicor 10.2.300, you can use the menu items of image maintenance and report style maintenance to add logos to your SSRS reports. First, you'll import an image in image maintenance menu item. The standard image size placeholder that Epicor is using is a width of 2.409 inches and a height of 0.533 inches according to the Epicor documentation. So you can give your image any name that you'd like to and then you would browse to the location of your image to import it and bring it into Epicor. Adding the logos to the Epicor standard reports. Next you would open one of the standard reports that Epicor has the option for logos to be added which includes the packing slip purchase order, sales order, acknowledgement, AR invoice, customer or supplier statements, reminder letters, or debit memos. You would open them in report style maintenance. Then you select the standard report in the tree view on the left hand side and then navigate to the companies and images tab on the right hand side. Choose which company in this case Epicor Education, that would use the logo and that you have an image in image maintenance and click the retrieve button. Once the row is shown, double click the image column to search for the image you want to attach to your report because you could have more than one image listed in your Epicor Education environment. Now you would go to the Epicor menu item that includes that standard report. In this case we're printing the packing slip so you would go to customer shipment entry and print a packing slip or customer shipment tracker and use the standard report style and then you can print preview and see the results once you've added your logo. Next you'll be working on downloading your SSRS reports for editing. So since system reports are not able to be changed, you'll make a copy of the standard report style. So you can copy a, a standard report by going to the report style maintenance and actions and then choosing copy report style. Your copy will be placed in your SSRS server reporting services portal web page. The report path it's asking you to enter the folder name for the copied report 
I was not able to change the report path so evidently the default is where it goes even though it tells you to enter the name and then click your copy option so next you would open the menu item that uses your report style and choose your new report style and click the icon to generate for design so Epicor now added the ability to generate a report for design only the print dialog box now includes a new icon to generate for design after you choose that option the report is shown in system monitor on the history tab be sure to select your report style in this case it's the copy of the standard report so after you do the generate for design we're looking at the system monitor you you open the system monitor and go to the history tab and find your recent report go to the actions menu and choose design SSRS report you might need to download MS SQL Report Builder, which is a free product from Microsoft, if you would like to use this option to design your SSRS reports. So once you have chosen in the SSRS Report Designer window that pops up, use the Actions menu and click the Download item to download the report to a local location and use MS SQL Report Builder to make any changes that you need. The file that is downloaded will be an RDL file and will open with SQL Report Builder as long as you don't have another program associated with RDL files because you can also open them with Visual Studio. Once you've chosen the download option, the designer window will ask if you want to use MS SQL Report Builder to edit the report. Answer yes and make any changes needed. MS SQL Report Builder will open unless you have another associated program to the RDL extension. Make any changes to the report as needed. I will only be showing a quick example, but there will be more examples shown in our next Lunch and Learn in a couple of weeks. Make sure to save your changes. After you've made your changes using MS SQL Report Builder, you'll publish your changed report in place of the previously copied standard report. So again, you would use the SSRS Report Design window and go to Actions and then Publish. Open the menu that uses the report styles and choose your new style. Click the icon to print preview report to see the results of your report. In this case, open customer shipment entry and print a pack slip with your new report style. Take a look at your previewed report and verify that you see the changes that you made. In this case, I just entered my initials above the logo as a quick change to our report. The actual work of changing items in your new report style will be done using the MS SQL Report Builder. Start simply with the examples listed here. You may be able to figure out how to add these items on your own or by using another report that includes the same change that you're looking for. And then viewing the report as an example to add the same data to your report. Move on to more complex items. Again, you can view similar reports to get some ideas or search online for resources for using MS SQL Report Builder for creating formulas, adding fields, and conditionally hiding roles, for example. Mostly the IT staff will be making changes to these reports and sometimes also power users as long as they have the needed permissions. However, any of you listening to this presentation will probably have a better understanding of how things work behind the scenes and how you can provide more information to the report writers about your required changes knowing how these tools work. Feel free to review any more of our presentations on our YouTube channel. Thank you.